it's time for NEC On The Run Women's Basketball Edition. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ralph Ventry, fired up and ready to go. We're nearing the midway point of the conference schedule, so let's get right to it and take a look at where we stand. There are new first place occupants, yes, plural, Sacred Heart and St. Francis U have jumped into the driver's seat with perfect 2-0 weekends. Meanwhile, CCSU, which was 6-0, the last remaining NEC unbeaten, the Blue Devils were off track a bit this past week during their swing through the Keystone State. They lost a thriller at St. Francis U, you may have seen that one on ESPN3. And then they fell to the defending champion Colonials. Robert Morris wins two games, five and three, in the top half of the standings. Look out for the defending champs. And fresh off catapulting into a tie for first place, you'll have a chance to see St. Francis U again this weekend the Red Flash are in our featured matchup Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, ESPN3. That's at Wagner. The Seahawks will host the Flash on Grimes Hill. So eight games down, 10 to go. Still plenty to be decided in the Northeast Conference standings. Now it's time for She Gets Buckets. Are we allowed to talk about anyone other than Jess Kovach in this week's segment? The SFU sophomore was in fuego this past week, 67 points in 69 minutes. That's getting buckets. Kovach dropped 45 points in an 87-81 win over previously unbeaten Central Connecticut. That single game performance, which was aided by nine three-point field goals, ranks eighth overall in NEC single game scoring history. As for her nine triples, she's the first player to hit at least nine shots from beyond the arc in an NEC game since 1999. After the win over CCSU, Kovach mentioned that her confidence is sky high because head coach Joe Haig gives her the green light to shoot. And how can you blame him? Kovach is ranked first amongst NCAA Division I leaders in three-point field goals made per game, 3.96. St. Francis's Jessica Kovach. She's got the green light and she gets buckets. And now we take a Twitter timeout, extending this 30 into a full. This week's featured tweet comes courtesy of Nelson Castillo from the Blackbird Hoops Journal, a friend of the show. And as it turns out, Nelly's liking what he's seeing from LIU freshman forward Aja Boyd. The six foot two post player is the NEC's Rookie of the Week after averaging nearly 18 points and 10 rebounds for the Blackbirds. She had 18 and eight in LIU's win last Monday night. In terms of NEC rookies, Boyd's 10.5 points per contest, that's second best, and she is the leading rookie rebounder at 6.4 caroms per game. She scored at least 10 points in seven of her last eight outings. So no wonder why Nelly Castillo is high on Aja Boyd. So what's that? Stats amazing. Time to take a look at an eye-catching statistic. It's understandable that Jessica Kovach grabbed all the headlines for St. Francis last week piling up the points, 67 points in 69 minutes. But don't overlook the contributions from fellow sophomore Courtney Zezza. 
She saw her reserve role increase as her freshman season worn on. Now, as a sophomore, she's been an integral part of the red flash rotation. And she's a shot blocking machine. 15 blocks in St. Francis's two victories last week. She's averaging over three blocks per game, tied for ninth overall amongst NCAA D1 leaders. Courtney Zeza has gone from role player to shot blocking extraordinaire in the NCAA top 10. Now stats, amazing. So that'll do it for this week's show. We told you about the featured matchup. Be sure to tune in. First place St. Francis at Wagner Saturday. You may also want to take a look at co-first place occupant Sacred Heart. They have LIU and Mount St. Mary's on the schedule. Whichever team you fancy, the good news is you can watch that team live at NECfrontrow.com. All 10 games live and in high definition. Enjoy the week of hashtag NECWBB. I'm Ralph Entry for NEC Front Row. Thanks for watching NEC On The Run. Until next time.